everyone and welcome to the Merns Tech. This is the first tutorial video in Merns Tech which I am going to put and in this video I am so much excited because we are going to build a certificate generator with canvas and it's totally going to be in the front end there is going to be no back end processing there will be an image we will type the name and then we will generate the certificate and then we will also be able to download it now let's look how the app will look like okay so this is the app certificate generator that we are going to be building in this video together and now in this app we have a certificate image here which I have designed here with a Mernstack logo here and now whenever you type your name here such as my name is Brother Sorry and you can see that the name is dynamically output here through the canvas and everything every processing is happening just with vanilla JavaScript with canvas API of HTML5 and now after typing our name here we can click the download button and then our certificate is downloaded with our name here certificate hyphen browser sugar like that and this is going to be the application that we'll be building and I hope you're very much excited and let's get started I have opened that folder in VS code and now here I have an image certificate.jpg where I have a template for the certificate so this is to certify that and whatever name we give in HTML that will be dynamically input here through the canvas HTML5 canvas and in this way also we'll be able to download the certificate so first I'll create index.html and now here I'll write HTML colon 5 to get the basic boilerplate code for HTML and here in title I'll, uh, I'll give certi generator also I'm gonna be using bootstrap CSS here so let me open up the browser and download the link CDN bootstrap CDN uh, what you can do you can go to bootstrap CDN.com and from there you can copy the CSS code and now here I'll write link it's uh, sorry link hrefs equals to and now you have to give one more property so that the CSS uh, link works which is rel equals to style sheet okay so we have put the link here now let me start this in live server before that I'm gonna output some text such as certificate generator now I've saved it I have now installed an extension in VS Code. It's called Live Server. Open with Live Server. When I click that, automatically when I make any changes in the source code, uh, it's gonna update there. So this is the certificate generator. Now you may be knowing that Bootstrap is a CSS framework, and with this we can quickly apply lots of styles easily. Now there is a style called uh, class name called container which gives some basic padding at the edges like that in certificate generator so this was h1 I got some basic padding on the left and right sides okay now the next thing is uh, basically most of the part is going to be in JavaScript because we have to do some canvas processing here so that we get the certificate first and then uh, we make a text input and through the text input we are gonna get the text and put it here so first let me create an input input type equals to text okay and here let me put a label and here I'm going to say uh, name okay name colon save now here the output is this one we have a label and this name also let me make a button for downloading the certificate uh, it'll be ahref let me give hash as the dummy URL because in the beginning we don't have any URL to download okay and um, we will say download save it so this is how it is now when we click this nothing happens and we can type some text here now what we need to do we also need one canvas element so that we can use it in JavaScript and get access to it and we also need references to this input and this button so I'm gonna give IDs to all of them one by one okay so first I'll be creating canvas element and let me give one ID to canvas also in canvas element we need two attributes those are height and width okay height 
I'm going to make height 350 pixels. You can also just give a, give a number, such as 350 and width uh, will be 500 pixels. Okay, and then, okay, the canvas element, if we give BR or if I add this element after this, okay, now the canvas element is not visible because there is no output or image here and we have to give IDs in input also so that we can access the data that we type here so let me say this as name okay and this button I'll give ID um, download hyphen btn now what I will do uh, is I will create a script.js file script.js javascript file and I will link this with the HTML at the end of the body with script src equals to script.js the name of the file now save it okay the script.js file has been linked now let's go to script.js and first get the canvas element const canvas equals to we can get by document dot get element by id using vs code you can uh, code faster because of the code completion which is present so id was canvas and also one thing required to work with canvas is called ctx the canvas object is const ctx equals to canvas dot get context this is important without this you won't be able to work with canvas such as drawing images drawing lines and all the processing okay ctx now what we need to do is we need to load the certificate image so we can create an image element in javascript by let's say the variable name will be image equals to new image okay now I will say image dot src this will be the link of the file the link of the file the name is certificate.jpg it's in the same folder so I'm just gonna name it certificate.jpg now image will take some time to load so it is asynchronous so there will be a callback function which is onload function so this will run which is image dot onload equals to a function so in this function we are gonna draw the image in the canvas now I'm going to make a function called draw image okay so in this draw image function I'm going to use this serious object here I will say ctx dot draw image this is a function in the canvas context object and as I have said you that everything uh, in canvas like drawing lines images circles is done through this canvas object this context object and there is a method draw image and the first parameter is the image the image object which is the image we have created a variable here so we have to pass this and the second parameter is the X position let it be zero so that it starts from the left and it's uh, the third position is the top one let it start from zero the top position the y position then we have the width and height how large the image that we want to draw I will say this to be canvas dot width and sorry this VS code code completion canvas dot width comma canvas dot height so now it's going to be the full width and full height of the canvas the size of the image now this function we can simply call here on load draw image now when we save this see in the output we see that in this canvas file the width which I have given here as 350 pixel of height and width is 500 pixel and in the script file as we call this function and run this command this command draws the image on the canvas and this is the image so first what we do is first we get the image we create the image dynamically an image element and then on load we call this function if you call this function without on load sometimes the image does not load that fast and it is asynchronous that's why you need to use this function okay the next step is to get the name which the user will type here since we have already a reference here in HTML as you see here uh, input ID equals to name we can use this in script JS to get the reference let's say it be name input equals to document dot get element by ID and here then 
ID is name so we have got the name input here now we have to run a function which will run continuously on every input whenever I type F the name of the certificate should preview here as FF like that or DD like that so I'll write the add event listener name input dot add event listener and it is input so input is a kind of event which runs every time you type something in the input in the input field and there we'll get a function you can also use error functions without any problem and there in input we get the text so first we have to get the text uh, const name equals to name input dot value in the value the name is stored and then after we get the value we need to call draw image okay and most of the processing will be done in draw image so what we will do in draw image first let me call this function draw image and in this draw image I am going to write a text first I will set the font ctx dot font equals to it's gonna be 30 pixel size and also you need to specify the type of font the style of the font which is monotype cursiva and then there will be cdx dot fill style which is the font color I am going to give it a hash code which is uh, which will be like dodger blue color there will be dark blue so it will be 2, uh, 9 and E I like this blue color and now just the last thing that is left is ctx dot fill text and here you need to write the so this text we will get from name input dot value actually we don't have to store it in a variable here we can directly use here name input dot value okay name input dot value so this is working as expected now the last feature that we have after the user types this name is to provide the download feature so that the user can download the certificate and now see this everything is happening in the front end there is nothing related to the back end so we are gonna make the download feature now so first let me get the reference to this link which is download btn so I will say const download btn equals to document dot get element by id which will be download hyphen btn now I can use this download btn to provide the download features now how do we download image through canvas so first we have to do download btn dot add event listener I'm going to add a click listener click handler it's going to be a function and here I'm going to update some of the properties of download btn now do you know that in ahref in this hyperlink whenever we add an attribute download d o w n l o a d then if we click this button then it downloads it it downloads the file by default now whenever i click this download see as you can see it has downloaded this index html file but we want to download this certificate right this image so what we have to do is in the src in the ahref i mean we have to update the link with whatever thing we want to download and also we don't want to add the download property in the beginning so that user does not download the empty certificate even if he downloads the empty certificate uh, in the beginning it will be downloading the index html and we don't want that in the beginning so we'll add the href dynamically we'll update it on click and also we'll add the property download from javascript itself so in this download button dot add email listener in click now we have to update the src so download button dot href sorry for telling src it's href i mean and in href i have to add the 
image link now how do we get the image link from canvas there is a property called canvas dot to data URL so when you call this method to data URL it creates a link it creates a link in the front end in the browser itself which can be used as a link to download or as an image source link you can use it for multiple purposes it creates a link of the canvas image whichever canvas uh, whatever you draw in the canvas lines and whatever stuff you draw you can create it downloadable or you can display it in an image element by updating the image source and assigning this variable okay so after setting this we have to make it downloadable so we have to add one more property download button dot download is equal to true now once we add that this download property is going to be added dynamically on click and this is going to work as expected now let's try this I'm gonna refresh it once and let me write my name here my name is Baraja Sorgeri and now let me try by clicking download and here you can see the name is true okay and here it is the certificate has been downloaded completely processed from the front end and this is the result now we can make this font size a little bit larger we can make it and also one thing the download file name was true instead what we want we want to put the file name dynamically let it be certificate certificate hyphen then let me add the string the string is there let me add the name of the person to whom the certificate belongs and it's going to be in name input element so let me name input dot value so certificate hyphen this also in canvas uh, to data URL you can specify one more property which is the type of the image uh, the mine type of the image will be image slash jpg you can make it png to whatever format of image you want is the output and I wanted to increase the size of the font to 40 pixels let's test it again yes browser surgery and click hit download and look the file name certificate hyphen baraza and when I click this yes it's fully downloaded and in this way you can create a photo editor kind of thing where you take an image and then you process the image through canvas and add all the updates add all the elements like text elements or draw some other images and then on top of it on top of it you can add some more filters and then you can provide the download feature or display to some other image and hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this was one of my first tutorial in Mernstack and I am going to make regular videos from now and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to the Mernstack thanks for watching